Dan Moskal here, and in this video we're going to talk about email marketing services, marketing services that will send emails to your client lists for you. Um, this is also called an autoresponder. The idea is that you'll have a little box that collects someone's email. You can also collect their name and any other information should you want. We have used Aweber in the past, and in this video we're going to talk about MailChimp. Uh, we heard MailChimp was another one to use. You can always search in Google autoresponder. Eye contact is another one that I heard is good along with Infusionsoft. So let's go ahead and sign up for MailChimp. MailChimp offers you free sign up. I believe Aweber charges you a dollar or at least they used to. So you obviously have to put in your email. And create a username and password. Uh, what we want to do is put a box. This is Dan Kennedy's website. He's got great info on a side note for marketing. Um, but we want to put in a box like this on our website. We had one with a Weber on our website. This is one of our websites here. We had one uh, with a Weber previously, but we let that go because we want to explore some of these other services. Click the big button below, activate account. <laughs> okay, so we have to visit our email. Um, if you are just getting started to online marketing and you're looking for a web hosting company, Bluehost is one of the best that I've found. They have a very easy to use interface and they're very reliable as in they don't have hardly any downtime uh, compared to the other ones. Yahoo web hosting is one I had some personal difficulties with. So we're just getting this email. And while we're waiting, we'll tell you about our uh, book over at Amazon. It's titled How to Create a Website Easy Button. It's available at Amazon and in the Kindle. And here we are. So if you sign up for MailChimp, you're going to have get an email. And you need to activate your account. And then you need to confirm your humanity. <laughs> I'm laughing at their uh, monkey on the screen. I think it's a uh, great logo. What do we pick? Was it Dan Moskal? get started with MailChimp. Um, you might want to put in your first and last name here if you don't actually have like a quote business. Like if you haven't gone and gotten a LLC or a partnership or whatever it be. Website URL so you can automatically grab your logo and color pull up from your Looks like you can choose no website should you want, but we're going to put this uh, new lead collector on this URL, the website we were just looking at right here. So we'll go ahead and give that to them, and then give them, you can find out where I live right now. Please don't show up at my front door without notice. <laughs> Your industry, I think you can probably choose like other or something. We'll go ahead and just give them what they want if they have dating. Um, uh, we'll just pick other 
to keep since we're on this video Eastern Time and we'll go ahead and subscribe to their mail letter this is going to uh, probably send us tips as far as uh, using their service and about email marketing which you may want to check out another great way MailChimp is here is to look at other uh, people's marketing emails that they send to you especially Dan Kennedy he's got some great ones he's got some great books too Account, access your account settings and log out right here. Next. Search list campaigns right here. We will probably have to camp start a campaign in order to create a list for that campaign if this is like a Weber. But we'll start with creating a list because that's what we really want to do. So we'll say dating, your emails will come from, our pen name for this is Willis Combs, I'll reply to email, and put your email in here, and this I guess would be a subject line. Um, we're not even going to bother. That. You can change your contact here if you wanted, and we probably will with this, but for the time being, we're just going to leave it as is. Uh, and we might just leave it as is. It doesn't really, it's not all that important. Notifications. Okay, this is just how often you're going to get notified, like when people sign up for your lists, or if they don't sign up for your lists. And then uh, I would recommend using this. So if somebody doesn't have their HTML displayed, it'll sh show your email in a plain text. Uh, I believe if you do keep this checked, from my understanding, it has a higher deliverability. And that's probably not the best terminology, but it's more likely that your message will get through. Like people will actually be able to view your message. Um, so I think this is HTML, like we can see all the images. If we had this displayed so it was just text, we sh shouldn't be able to see all these images from my understanding. Instead, it would just be the text, and it wouldn't even have these uh, this stuff linked or highlighted. It would, would just have the show us the URL for it instead. But I would make sure to check this button uh, and we'll experiment with it but for now from my understanding this is definitely a button you want to have checked with Aweber I always would paste my messages in both in the HTML box and they have a separate plain text box and I'd always paste it into both because that was my understanding that you have a lot better chance of it getting uh, delivered and read or seen and a lot of my I think it's Yahoo I, I get default messages and then I can hit a button or show images or a button that says you know see the rest or show all the stuff please check your entry and try again what do we leave off here remind people how they got on your list because you signed up because you asked <laughs> <laughs> write something uh, nice here but like you requested information at maybe put your website in just to remind them um, and from dating coach Willis Combs write anything you want in here and if you want to use this feel free we might change that around here in the future but click save when you're all ready and that should okay excellent you have a brand new list will automatically create a sign up form so you can use to gather new subscribers customize it with new import contacts okay got it add a subscriber quickly add a subscriber to your list with the add subscriber button so if you wanted to put just to show you we'll go ahead and sign up for it ourselves. Um, 
I don't believe this is going to show up on your actual list when you're collecting people. And that's, you know, don't go sign up random people, but that's our own email address. So we have one person on our list now. Uh, let's, I want to see where the actual, maybe the autoresponder is the actual sign up form. Emails after people. Okay, so we'll buy this here in just a few minutes which then I'll do another video here alright so here's where I want to see the actual uh, lead collector form alright well we're gonna have to look at that and uh, try and find it here on another video so this is Dan Moskal grab a copy of our book over at Amazon how to create a website easy button you can also visit danmoskaluniversity.com for more tips please like this video comment below let us know what you want to know about next uh, let us know how your email is working for you and have a wonderful afternoon thanks for watching